video, you know I have tested the power supply and found that it's not, I don't think it's what's at fault. So we're gonna go ahead and put it back in. And you wanna get these started. But you don't want to do anything more than snug them until you've got all the screws in. Because, well, you can't see half of them anyway. It's very, very difficult to work on this where it's located. So uh, my mount is uh, broken, so I'm going to have to just hold the camera. Or jam it. This metal screw is really hard to get to. There it goes. Hopefully that's the last time that has to go in there. That's our power in. And Thank <laughs> you. 
right, so that is everything plugged back in. And almost. You still gotta hook the CPU up. I'm sorry, the view is uh, probably sucks, but I gotta put some stuff back together, and this is just how it's gotta be. My uh, camera mount broke tonight, again. So I think it's time for a new one. All right, so that drives back in. Now we gotta put this back up. All right, this is not the best camera angle, but you're just gonna have to live with it because that's what we're getting. I think these were actually supposed to be what was in here. But I like the other screws better. two cables and they're CN4 Gonna see if we're back where we were. All right. So it comes on, but it doesn't come on. Yep. So this doesn't come on. So the next thing, I'm gonna go get something. And we're gonna test some things. was very kind and gave me a set of drawings. Well, I wouldn't call them drawings. But they gave me this sheet here, which tells me what each of these 
should register. So pin one, to, which is the white, to, to ground should be 4.86 volts. We got 5.1, that's good enough. Pin two should be 114 millivolts. got about 49 millivolts so that's low brown pin 3 brown should be 12 volts And pin brown is out. I do not have 12 volts. So as I suspected, that is the issue. Now the question is, what does 12 volts do? <clears throat> pin four, which is red to ground, should have been 141 millivolts. I've got 0 0.05 volts. Orange is 26 volts. Yellow is 0.41, I don't see it. Blue is minus five. Yep, and gray, is that a gray? Yep, gray is half a volt, minus half a volt. I got 0.39 volts, that's close enough for me. So the issue is I don't have 12 volts. And I don't know why I don't have 12 volts. So we're going to step back to the X joint board and see if we got it here. So it is brown. Don't have it there. Don't have it there. I managed to paste my holder back together. So what we need to do is figure out what a ground point is on here. Uh, this looks like a good ground. So now let's make sure we've got...
All right, so what I want to do here is test for 12 volts at the power supply, which I don't think I have here. No, I don't. I have 0.162, which tells me something's bad. Put in some additional tools to do some testing because we know we're missing 12 volts. So, we're going to jump rid of that. And then we're going to connect this power supply here to Earth. And we've got this situated. And All right, well, you know what? I just need to see it. So I'm sorry you guys can't. I'm going to power up twelve volts there. And I'm going to max out my amps because it's drawing quite a bit of power. There we go. So we have twelve volts missing. And when we replace it, we'll just go ahead and plug that in. The machine powers right up. So if we take the 12 volts away, oh, it stays lit. That's strange. So. So you guys can see here it is not powered up, but if we give it 12 volts, then it powers up. So worst case, we would simply patch 12 volts in here because I sure as hell isn't, I'm not gonna spend fucking $1,800 on that card. Not fucking happening. I'm not gonna pay somebody $900 to repair it either. Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to try and figure out where the issue is that's keeping 12 volts from getting onto this. So, a lot of thanks to Hirsch. That is the circuit diagram they gave me. And now what I need to do is figure out why we don't have 12 volts on the card. So, we got the power supply card. Goes to the head card, the joint card. It's not the joint card. We know the problem is in the power supply card. And... SCN 4 and 5. So we don't have an emergency switch. But we, what we got to do is figure out why we're not getting 12 volts out on brown now that we know that that's actually the problem. So I feel good. I've made some really good progress. Now I got to figure out why I'm not getting 12 volts. That is not today's project. You know, so we'll figure out which one 12, the, which one 12 volts is, and then we'll just have to trace the circuit. I mean, that sucks, but that's what we'll do. And more than likely, it's something reasonably simple. I've got three fuses there. I've got a fuse there and a fuse there. And I just got to figure out what the different fuses do on this card and see if I've got, I really got to check and see if I got a blown fuse. Um, absent a blown fuse i gotta figure out what component has died on here and then we'll go from there and it may wind up being something where i patch in a 12 volt power source because i'm telling you i'm not spending 1800 dollars for this card and kiss my ass not happening i'm not spending 900 dollars for somebody to replace a couple of components on it either um and if i find the components i'll replace them but until then that's where we're at right now thanks for watching